couple things you need to know to rationalize the denominator. When we want to rationalize the denominator with the radical, what we're looking at doing is eliminating the square root in the denominator. So to do that, I need to understand, well, how can I eliminate the square root in my denominator? Well, I know if I have the square root of a number, then that square root is going to be eliminated. So I gotta think, well, what can I multiply here by the square root of three to be able to obtain nine? And you might be thinking, well, you just need to multiply by three. But the problem is you can't multiply a number outside a radical inside a radical. However, the rules of radicals do state as long as you have two radicals that have the same index, like square root, square root, and the radicands are exactly the same, then you indeed can go ahead and multiply that. So I don't wanna multiply by three, but I wanna multiply by the square root of three. And just remember, whatever you do in your denominator, you have to be able to do in your numerator, so therefore you can produce what we call equivalent fractions. One half is equivalent to four eighths. So I'm gonna multiply by a square root of three in my numerator as well as in my denominator. Now, all I simply need to do is I can't do anything with the three square root of three, so that's gonna be three square root of three. And then here, I have a square root of three times three, which is the square root of three squared which is the square root of nine, which is now going to be three, which I can simplify one more time, give me a final answer of the square root of three.